Welcome to this NX help tip. In this video we're going to show some ways of creating cutaway section, otherwise known as a pictorial section view in NX. This reciprocating saw model has some interior detail which we'd like to display in a drawing. I'm going to place down two base views to use for the example. I'm then going to insert a pictorial section view. First thing is to select a parent view, in this case the trimetric view. You are now prompted for an arrow direction, so in this case I will select the Y axis. Once applied, you are then prompted for the cut direction, so I will choose the Z axis as the cut plane. You can now see the arrows appearing to show the directions selected. You now need to specify the cut position or where the section will pass through, so we select the centre of the blade. NX will now count the section, and then you will need to place the view. Because the view orientation is set to orthographic, in this example we end up with a section front view. For the second example, I'm going to use the top view as the parent view. The vectors in cut position are the same. Now we'll change the view orientation to inherit orientation and use the trimetric view to inherit from. Now you can see we have a trimetric section view. With this example, I'm going to use the trimetric view as the parent view and use the parent orientation. What I can also do is specify components to not be sectioned.
you can now see the shaded pictorial section with some non-section components. If you have a PMI license, you can create section views and modelling. We'll create a new view and if you right mouse button, you can see very few options. After turning on PMI, you can now see the section view functions added. We'll create a lightweight section view first. For this example, we'll use a box section where we can dynamically move the box faces. When I select the components to be sectioned, you can see what is in the box is visible, everything outside is cut away. This now creates a new view in the model view tree. We can then place this view on a drawing sheet. The cap colour is selected when creating the lightweight section view, so there's no option to change it in the drafting view settings for a shaded view. Last example is of the PMI section view, not lightweight. Remember you must have a PMI license. Once you select the objects to section, you can select the section curves or create a sketch. In this example I'll create a sketch rectangle, which when finished will be extruded through the model. Again we have a new view which we can place on a drawing.